angler science outside? Had to be outside because we're talking about the sun. It's not the first time you and I have talked about the science of the sun and ultraviolet light. I have something cool for you to, uh, to see and uh, a product that you can kind of find out there to kind okay. of help. So back in the day when you were, uh, you were out on Fear and Field up there at CU, that was baby oil. It wasn't sunscreen, was it? It was. In the hair. It, uh, this I mean, is really, really smart, smart it, moves. No. We, we now know that ultraviolet light, of course, it can, is very dangerous for yep. our skin. And uh, this is something that you can find at the toy store, sometimes arts and crafts store. I have beads. Now, they're white. If I reach inside here, these are going to be white beads. Watch what happens the moment they get uh, they, they get exposed to the sun. Ready? Three, two, one, watch. There Ooh. it goes. Did you see that? Very colorful. It's that fast. Look, they're white, and immediately they begin to change color. Like these, yeah. Look at these. These beads here. Here, hang on. It's yep. okay. Uh, these beads here have a special pigment inside that actually changes in the ultraviolet light. And as soon as you go back inside again, they'll change back. So they go back and forth, back and forth. I've got a bigger container here. Look at this. Ready? So this will be easier to see. Three, two, one. White. And now, look at that. Here it goes. Did you see that? Is that amazing? Oh, look at Thousands that. Thousands of these beads that change color. So you say, well, why is that important? Because when we put these in the hands of kids, they'll make things. So for example, they'll make, here's a, another thing of beads here. So here are the beads that change color. They'll make, for example, bracelets. these little bracelets, which is fantastic. So look, here's a, a little alligator, it looks like. But a bracelet's not a bad thing because when you're wearing the bracelet, you go outside, you're kind of reminded of the fact that only in ultraviolet light do they change color. So I know what you're thinking. How do you make them so they don't change color? If you take sunscreen, you can use these kinds of beads that you can find in an arts and crafts store. If you just look for color, UV color changing beads online, you'll be able to find them. Uh, we can take the sunscreen and actually put it on the outside of the bag and sit out here and see how they change color. Ah. And if they don't change color that much, it means that this is working. So a Spectrum 70 should be much better than the SPF 50. We start to see that an SPF, uh, whatever it might be, 15, 15 is absolutely useless. But it's a way to combine the art piece of it and the whistling sound in the background. Those are our fans <laughs> that are out there. Look at this. You ready? I'm going to let you take a look Check. right at this. Three, two, one. Take a look as soon as these come out. Ah, uh, it happens that fast. Wow. Is that not amazing? Hey, mom? Uh, it does say, it says, wow, mom. Says look wow at that. Mom. Bam. And this one, gosh, from years ago, this kids at Willow Creek Elementary did the science one for me. So I don't know if it's wow or if it's mom or it's wow, mom. I'm not really sure. Wow, but science. It's, it is wow science. It's kind of a cool way to be able to use something that you can find at the arts and crafts store, but to be able to test this. If you have the beads and you were to, for example, put, oh, it's okay. Oh, see, I kept and you, No, yeah. you're fine. And you were to take sunglasses and put the sunglasses over the top. top. If the beads change color, you know that that UV protection isn't really as good as we once thought. So, as your skin changes color in the sun, this is a good example of how to protect your skin. Great way to do it in a nice little way. It. It's an engagement kind of technique with our kids, especially when we're playing here in the summertime. Just look Perfect. for UV color changing beads. All right. Okay. Thanks, Steve. Thank we will be right back.